What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Grey Man Operations. Before we get into this video, I want to take a moment to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. If it is something you celebrate, I hope you're having an amazing time with your family. I hope you guys are safe if you're traveling, if you're on holiday. Relax, rest and enjoy this time off. We've definitely deserved it in 2022. I'm actually filming this at, I don't know if you can see, at... 1, 10 past 1 in the morning on Christmas Eve. So it's not actually Christmas for me right now. Like I said, if you guys can take the time to watch it, I'll take the time to film it. And I feel incredibly honored to have, to be in your homes um, on Christmas Day if you are watching this on day to release. We are going to be talking about my EDC backpack today. It's a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while, but circumstances has gotten in the way of that. We are finally year and doing it guys an everyday carry backpack is a vital part of preparedness because it's just sometimes not possible to carry the gear you require on a daily basis especially when it comes to medical gear some of these things you just can't comfortably carry on your body or sometimes not even it's not even a matter of comfort it's a matter of just impossibility or you will defeat the whole gray man concept and just stand out too much so in a backpack you can carry your trauma kit remember guys if your loved one if your wife or your child gets injured and it's an arterial bleed. You don't have minutes, you have seconds. Okay, if your med pack is in your car and you're in a shopping mall, more than likely the game is over. That's where having a EDC backpack comes in. It's, it's such a vital piece of kit and I still see many people out in the world with no backpack on them at all or no kind of extra carry equipment. What I like about the Nightcore BP23 is it's a fairly basic, nondescript looking backpack. This is actually a commuter pack. So the design is a commuter pack. Overnight pack, it's a 23 liter bag. You can get quite a lot in there. We're gonna switch the view to a top-down view. And I'm gonna take you through the internals of the pack and what I have inside it and why I have the things I have inside of it. Okay guys, so let's get to it. The outer shell of the pack is made from wearproof 600D polyester that has a dirt and waterproof coating. The first pocket is this really cool angular pocket and I'm going to show this bag in what I consider its maximum capacity. This isn't how I always carry it and I will show you the things that I don't always carry but I do want to show you what it's capable of carrying. So inside here I have a write in the rain notebook and um, a big idea design TI mini pen. If this isn't in my gunslinger backpack, then it'll be in this front section specifically because if you need to make a note very quickly, you do want quick access to it. Now, that's the first panel and as you can see, it's high visibility orange. This panel also has a waterproof zip. It's only this and the top panel that have waterproof zips, but we'll get that in a second. Now, the top panel, which is right here, I keep a pair of shades, these are Wiley X Sabre Advanced and my Asma Nailer because I always want that readily at hand and this has like a soft plushy material on the inside which is very nice, it's not padded but it's, it's sufficient now you can access the first compartment like so if you want to dig your hand in there so this is one access method and then you'll notice that there are zips on either side okay so if you turn the bag on its side you can access the, the let me just close this first you can access this compartment without actually opening it up so if you want to sort of sling the bag over to your side you can dig in here for whatever you want but the bag itself the main compartment sort of clamshell open like that now on the one side you've got a mesh pocket inside of which I have nothing okay so what we've got here is a combat application tourniquet this 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 whole panel here is a velcro panel this is a whole velcro panel situation so you can stick things down which is really cool this is a med kit now I've got two med kits in this bag remember this is an EDC bag that right? it's not a 
tactical bag. The reason I have this med kit is because the other med kit I have in here is my trauma kit, which looks like a trauma kit. And I once uh, was at a party and a small child got hurt, as they always do, and I wanted to put the plast on. And I took out my trauma kit, and the sight of the trauma kit freaked the child out more than the freaking injury that the child had. So I thought, well, get something super basic looking that looks like a normal first aid kit, which is this, although it does have um, some good stuff in there. And at the back, we've got your plasters and your, your headache tablets. I always have headache tablets on me because I'm a very headachey kind of person. And then that just sticks down there. This section here has six pockets. Check this out. This is a pocket right here. There's another pocket in the back here, inside of which I have a pair of Bluetooth headphones. If I'm anywhere where I have to wait, I'm always going to be listening to music unless I'm like moving around. So this will stay in here. Like I said, I'll outline what I don't, what I don't always keep in here. And then yeah, that's all that's in there. This pocket goes all the way down to there. So that's one, two pockets. Then on that's coming out a bit on either side you let's get that in frame you'll see there's a pocket here and a pocket here inside of this pocket i have a uh, external hard drive i think this is like a four terabyte external hard drive with all my youtube stuff on it and then on the other side check this this is cool on the other side there are also pockets right in this pocket I keep this little pouch, this is from Strauss & Co. Um, in the back I have a knife, a spare knife in case I forget one at home, and a spare flashlight. This is the Olight, what is this, Arcfelt, which I think is a really cool utilitarian light, right? And then in this pocket, or in this front section, I have an iPod shuffle the old classic ipod shuffle the best ipod that apple has ever made as far as i'm concerned freaking reliable thing battery never dies so the cool thing here is right check this uh, let's just put that like that here is a pocket okay and it's deep enough to fit my whole hand then on the other side is also a pocket and these two pockets don't meet they're not the same pocket so it's one organizational section another one this is two separate pockets which is very cool and then here there's also two separate pockets in which i keep my hard drive like i showed you and one of these hanks from from woodsman wears not so much to use it as a handkerchief but uh, the the microfiber back is really good for cleaning your cell phone and laptop or tablet screens so it's always cool to have something like this when you are taking your devices with you so this is the front section also i have here this is the slb04 and i've had it in this bag since i got it because i got the two of them together what's really cool is you can clip this to the front of the pack and then wear it like a chest like a chest rig type thing there's nothing in here this is just extra storage for whatever there's also a shoulder strap for this um that's just extra storage so if this bag gets super full and michelle needs to carry something extra or i need to carry something extra then that is in here but like i said i've never used it i've never taken it out it's just been in here since I got the bag and I just sort of left it in there. So of the stuff here that I, that I might not always have with me, it would basically only be my external hard drive. I'll only take my external hard drive with if I take my laptop with me in the bag. Okay, so that's the front compartment. Well, the second front compartment because technically this was the front compartment. We're going to go through the external once I've done the main compartment. So the main compartment... So you can see these zips right here that go all the way around. So if you want to open the main compartment just on the side, then you can, right? And you can obviously do that on the other side as well. But just like the front compartment, the main compartment also clamshells. So you've got a mesh pocket here inside of which I have nothing. 
Remember guys, this is an EDC bag, so it's not always going to be this full and it's not always going to be racked and stacked with everything. My Urban Warrior Ready Pack. So this is the trauma kit I took out, took out, right? And there were plasters in this pouch, this little section here. And the child saw this and was like, holy shit. And I just think this freaked the child out more than anything else. So that's why I keep an extra med pack. And that other med pack isn't really a trauma kit. It's just a med kit. This is more a trauma kit. This is on my website if you want to check it out, guys. I'm also giving one away to my Patreons soon. And then a journal because I'm always getting video ideas. I started keeping like a more full-size journal. This is a Strauss & Co. Um, cover. A more full-size journal so I can like take more sizable notes. So the journal is also something that will sometimes not travel with me. This will always travel with me. Okay, on the inside you've got two pockets. So you have, you have seven internal storage pockets in the main compartment. Let's, let's get the big one. Now let's, let's do it this way. So we've got my ready pack. On this side you've got a pocket same to same as this and inside here i keep my laptop charger if i'm going to bring my laptop with now again my laptop is something that i don't always take with me on my daily commute so this is something that's extra and then what's really nice is because i edit videos i need a big laptop this main pocket will take a 15.6 inch laptop which i really appreciate in an EDC backpack. Okay, then this section here is actually, let me take this out. This is a water bottle. I will always have a water bottle with me and it slots very nicely into that pocket. This section here is actually two separate pockets. On the one side, I have my Kindle. This stays in here, never ever. If I, if I use this, like not traveling, it goes straight back in here because for me to not have that, it will make me really, really sad. Um, then my mouse for my PC, of course, a power bank. I think this is like a 5,000 million power power bank, um, some cabling. This is your normal micro USB. This is your night core USB type C if I want to charge my phone. And then if I do go somewhere that has like a, a, a charging port, I can just plug this into the port, this into here and then fast charge my phone which is a good deal and then in this pocket here this is how deep that pocket is i keep like a small i think it's called, it's called a tote bag this i started keeping because michelle and i went shopping once and we filled this bag with shopping and then it was kind of stupid carrying a backpack and two bags two plastic bags with shopping so i kept this in here super small folds flat so we have an extra bag if we if we fill this one out. There is also times, guys, where I will take my Southwest Alters Gunslinger and also put that in there, like when I'm not carrying my laptop or when I'm if we're going hiking or whatever the case may be. Then I'll take my Gunslinger specifically because if I want to carry off body, the Gunslinger gives me that capability. So I might not. Uh, start off the day wanting to carry off body but having it um, having this capacity with me and having the space to carry it is is really cool and as you can see like the bag is spacious right it's not like i'm busy killing this bag on the back side something i really like is how thick these shoulder pads are the thick I, I find that they disperse weight so nicely it just makes it so much more comfortable to carry especially when you're running a heavier load these can clip loose and then what you've got here is a little velcro panel stuck down if you want to set this up for traveling you can do so and then obviously your travel handle can go through there which i really like this back panel does also have this really cool breathable mesh situation which is very comfortable and really does prevent your back from sweating because this is one solid panel so that really helps and really works really well um, on the bottom you've got a soft velcro section for your gear patches or whatever the case may be and then there is a molly panel two molly panels here through which i've um webbed like these flexible little pull tabs these shock cords in case i want to put the jacket through here like you'll see some of the b-roll 
that was because once I went out with this and I had a jacket on and it got rainy and the jacket got wet and then it got warm being Cape Town and I, then I couldn't put the jacket in the bag because I had my electronic equipment in the bag so I webbed this through here for me to put a wet jacket on the outside then you also have a molly set of molly panels on either side of the bag if you want to add anything extra you've got a grab handle here you've got the grab handle on top you've got the grab handle at the bottom and you've got the grab handle on the other side so i think it's a really nice 23 liter edc backpack not super tactical looking very covert looking very gray man looking which is what i really appreciate given the channel's name I really like this pack. This is currently my EDC backpack and how I kit this EDC backpack out. It will change slightly depending on environmental factors, but this is the general gist of the pack. Guys, just remember, this is not a bug out bag or a tactical bag. It's an everyday carrier bag. So try to kit it out accordingly. Try to think of what you might need on an, on an everyday basis in terms of practicality and tacticality if you want to use that word try to think of do i need space in the backpack are we going shopping does my partner often ask me to hold things for her etc etc or him having extra space in this bag is real is as important as some of the stuff in it you might be wearing a jacket that you want to take off or a cap or whatever the case may be having some spare space is 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 as important as stuffing it full of gear and then also Try to think of practical reasons for the things you have in your bag. Sometimes it's it's not a matter of survival, but a matter of practicality, like having a spare bag inside this bag. Because if you are going shopping, you might fill this one out quite quickly. And then you've got another bag that you can just sling over your shoulder so that your hands are free. Another thing that, that we didn't allude to is, the, is having your hands free to draw your firearm with a backpack on. That's so important. Having your hands free to move your wife or your partner out of the way. And just the comfort of having your hands free as opposed to having a ton of stuff stuck in your hands. So guys, this is the Nightcore BP23. I want to say a big thanks to my guy Jim at Nightcore for hooking me up with this bag. I really, really like it. This is currently my EDC backpack of choice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, guys, thank you, thank you for having me in your home on Christmas Day. I hope you and your family are enjoying it, guys. Patreon giveaway is happening this coming week. I will be filming a video in the week, even though it's holiday. Like I said, if you have time to watch it, I have time to film it. We are going to give away a knife and a tourniquet or a flashlight and a tourniquet on Patreon. So if you want to check that out, it's the first link in the video description below. That's it, guys. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.